I was brought up in a very loving family, um, but not a Christian family. I never went to church growing up. Um, and I felt growing up that I didn't need God. Um, I felt that I was good enough without him. Um, and it went like that until I went to university and I heard the gospel for the first time. Um, I heard about my sin. I heard about how my sin separated me from God. And I heard about Jesus and his perfect life that he lived that I couldn't, I couldn't live it. Um, he died on a cross in my place and he died as a substitute for my sin. Um, and it was on that day that I knew I needed my sin dealt with. Um, I couldn't do anything to get it done, but Jesus had already done it. So I, I asked him for forgiveness um, and I asked him to be my savior. And he did from, from then on in um, and continues um, to work in me to this day. Um, I then graduated from university and I work as a doctor um, in a hospital at the moment. Um, it's a great privilege to work as a doctor. You get to work with people in some of their most difficult and challenging times of their life. Um, and as a Christian, we're taught to love one another. Um, and we love one another because God first loved us and he loved us through his son, um, the Lord Jesus Christ. And throughout the ups and downs of life, you know, be that sickness, be that, um, you know, a, a good event really, but people often ask questions such as, you know, why am I in this situation? Or I, I can't see the meaning behind this. And again, as a Christian, it's comforting to know that God has this, God has this and in his control. Um, it says that he knows the number of hairs on our head. Um, and it's, you know, it's, it's the plans of the Lord that are, that are worked out and it's not the plans of man. And that gives us great comfort as a Christian to know that, you know, God is in control of, of, of these things. And despite, you know, doctors working, you know, very hard, they, you know, want the best for their patients, there's always pain, suffering, sorrow in the world. Um, and that's because, you know, the Bible says that the world is separate from God and it's separate through, through sin. Um, and this is precisely why Jesus came. He came to bridge that gap that sin had created between God and man and it's as it's as straightforward as just accepting Jesus accepting what he's done turning away from your sin um, and accepting the life that Jesus has lived and you know as by accepting Jesus I know that one day there will be a day without sin there'll be a day without suffering a day where death will have no power um, and that day will be when when Jesus comes back and as a Christian that's the ultimate hope in whatever walk of life you have.